Okay, so at this point, the pouch is completely stitched together. It's got the behavior we want. The studs are on the top. Everything slides through the front sleeve. The rivets are ready for compression. But what we don't have is the little button stud. Okay, and the button stud is just this tiny component here. So we can get that in focus. So it's just a screw component. And you get these with various thicknesses, little flat tip screw. So you can just screw it in, but first you've got to punch the hole in the registration, and more importantly, you've got to punch this really weird hole, okay? It's like a dot with a line. So let's talk about that real quick. This is our generic punching block. When you go to punch your hole, let's say this is your one inch stock, you need to make sure that everything's going to work. So you want to line it up with the center of your strap. And then you get this perfect circular hole and you can push that over your little button stud that screws in. So the trick there is making sure that the registration for the post of the button head screw lines up with the purple part of the pouch. And then that hole also lines up with where we want the strap to be for, for full closure. So the trick is to have these dually concentric mates, meaning that the circle that we use to punch our hole through everything needs to go through everything so that we can register this hole. And to clarify, when you're doing a button punch hole, you can just do this with a rotary punch uh, for a circle and then make sure that when you cut this line, if you're doing it with a chisel or an exacto, you're cutting towards the hole, not away, because you don't want to make a tear that's going to propagate through your strap, okay? If you're using a buckle, you know how to do that, and that's not part of this demonstration. So in order to punch a hole through everything, we obviously need to put the wood block inside the pouch, okay? And so we have our standard wood block, and then what I like to do is just, you know, if you have any material, just put it underneath your wood block. So I've got this other wood block that will be totally fine. And I'll probably put the smaller one on top. That way everything is lined up. And the trick here is the wood blocks need to be as small as the pouch is for closure. So if that's not the case, you're going to need to find a wood block that is narrower or wider that fits into the assembly. Okay, so that will work. You could also get away with just one of the thinner blocks and you'd still get the closure you want. And I'm going to slide the pouch all the way together. I'm keeping these little ears in um, just so that I can have it register as where I want the top to be. Um, we're going to trim those off later. Okay. So we've got the alignment the way we want. I like the way these studs are lining up. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my small punch and line it up with the center of the strap relative to the entire pouch, making sure it's got center to center alignment on the purple section and center to center alignment on the black section. So I'm pressing down firmly. I'm checking again with my eyeball to make sure I'm satisfied with that. And then when I'm ready, just you really want to drive it in there, okay? I know it sucks to get wood stuck in your punch, but you want to make sure that you went through everything, okay? So we've got our hole, right? So now what we can do is make sure that our button stud fits. That's just feeling out where it belongs and then just pushing it through. If it's a tight fit, that's good. That just allows you to make sure that it's not going to fall out. There's our button stud. And then when we go to close it, we're going to need to make sure that this rounded slot punch or just the hole punch that you're punching with the cut is done with this tinier hole centered. Okay. So we're going to switch to our cutting block. I'm just going to line it up so that 
the base of my round part of the chisel is centered and so you want to get your eyes down so you have a good line of sight while you're chiseling okay and then you want to make sure that this top portion here is lined up so it's pointing right down the middle so if you need um, like a grease pen to mark that out that's fine you can say this is what I think the middle is that's gonna get so much wear that the grease pen won't show up after a day or two of use just because of the way you pop this pouch open or closed okay so again I'm checking from the left side checking from the right side I'm checking from the bottom to make sure everything is centered and if you're not sure don't punch because you can't unpunch it okay if you're not sure press down lift it off check and make sure and if you still don't feel satisfied take the time to adjust everything so it's exactly as you want now when I'm holding this down I'm pushing very very hard I'm pinching the tool but I'm pushing with my wrist my elbow and my shoulder so that when I drive through with the hammer, it's a nice clean cut. One more. So we wanna make sure our tool head gets all the way through and the cutter here is always a little quicker than the hole, okay? The hole takes a little more work. So the trick there is once you've driven it through, make sure to rock your chisel back so that you get the bottom of the round to finish the cut. And then from there, you have what you need. And when you slide it through the front sleeve of the pouch, you can just push it on to your button stud. And it's gonna take a little bit of work the first couple of times, and that's okay. Um, <laughs> these things wear in really, really well. So once you have that settled, you're satisfied. Okay. So at this point, you can hammer down your rivets and you're done. And you've got your pouch. So trim these bits off with the scissors, hammer down the rivets, you've got your button stud, and you've got the whole slot cut here.